we spoke about it, and um, when, we, when the folks come up, I said, look, you know, do you want this fight? He said, yeah, you know, he, was, he was mad for it, you know, and then... I want this fight, I wanted this fight for like a year now, because I know I would punch his head all over. <laughs> I think... I think he's here. Why don't I? 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 I used to sell tickets for you. Go on, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll this one out, I used to sell tickets for you. Come on, let's explain. Explain. Well, don't tell me that. I'll type in your phone. Come on, I'm actually explain. Explain that one, you lying little twat. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, explain yourself. All, all I'm saying is this, right? All I'm saying is, I will give you a rematch when I kiss your ass. Still for the song. Simple as that. Say again. I will give you a rematch when I kiss your ass. First in September. Alright, <laughs> well, We're going to move to the stalkers on fight. Um, Tom, welcome. Uh, you called this fight out a long time and uh, you got what you wanted and a very important fight for your career on September 30th. A full year I've waited for this. I've been asking Matthew, me, me, um, my friend Daniel, uh, can you get me the fight? And finally, MTK Global spoke to Eddie and he got me and I won't let this opportunity slip like a Cogwell champion and WBC international champion, but I, I think he's terrible, to be honest. <laughs> I think he is terrible. You know what he is? He's, he's, very, um, he's very awkward and, and, and he wins because he's very awkward, but I think he's terrible and I think I'm going to win easy. And you know what? I'm not going to say I'm going to stop him, I'll win points. How are you going to outbox me for 12 rounds? He said they're going to outbox him. Are you going to stop him? You're going to stop him. You're the GB captain. You're going to be stop. fighting you GB boys. You're going to stop me. You're going to stop me. You can't no, mate, I'm just going to tear up and give it all I've got. Oh, yeah. We'll know, see that, what you're made of. That's how you get all fans behind me playing that card. <laughs> Stalker, he has had some good performances against Scotty Cardle. He beat Patera, the European champion, now. He's won the Commonwealth title as well. So he has had some strong wins in his career. Um, you just think it's going to be a straightforward night for you at Echo Arena? I just don't wait for that. Do like, you know he's actually... I'm, a, I'm being a bit thingy you now, he's actually a nice lad, but I just think he's a terrible for boxing. And I'm going to punch his head. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, I'm not talking like I'm acting hard or doing talking, because like, when you're quiet and you, you don't speak to my, your mind, no one's asked about you, so I'm just saying it how I feel. What are you little person there, Tom? I'll give that to me, baby, go for the eyes. And stick that in your mouth and suck on it, so. <laughs> Masha, we know you're never quiet, and uh, again, this was one of those ones where we talked about it, we talked about it, and we hit the number, and you said, you know what, can give him to me, let me fight him. Yeah. And um, you've had a lot of fights recently, but now one you can really get your teeth into, it's got that spite, it's got that edge. Yeah, well, I don't know about getting your teeth in, because there's not much meat on the bone, is there? But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not something, I didn't want to fight Tom, you know, I, I don't want to fight anyone to be honest, it's, uh, I don't know nothing else but boxing now, that's given me a life, so, you know, it's a business now, there was a lot of, there was names out there that were a lot tougher on paper than Tom, um, Who? I'm not, well, Andy Townend, he, 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 he's talking about a, a rematch, Andy Townend, so, uh, the likes of uh, Steve, uh, Matty Fagan, that would be a possible yeah. fight in the future, you know what I mean? These are good kids that I believe are better than you. Yeah. Well, in pro game, yeah, the amateur, uh, the amateur game's different. You're a great boxer, you're done as proud, you're, you're the captain, but the pro game's about fighting, and I don't think you can fight to save your life, you can't. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't even fight your way out of a wet paper bag. Uh, your hair will get in your eyes. Next time I'll get you the sugar dummy then, mate. <laughs> well, listen, Eddie, thanks, mate. Um, to be honest, it's a, it's, it's a tough fight, don't get me wrong. I'm not underestimating Tom, he, he was GB captain. Um, you, you know, he's, he wants to fight, so if he wants to fight, then obviously he thinks he can beat me easy, like he's saying. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it, mate. And, We'll, we'll see. We'll see what the better yeah, yeah, all, I, all I want as well, not on the night when I'm pink and I'm everywhere, there's no dodgy decisions from like Sky or anything. Because I know I'm a, cause he's, he's a heavy fighter, so I don't want 
need to get Bob when I'm punching them all around the ring. You won't get Bob, don't go any way. Just tell you what we'll win, right? And you get whooped. I just hope I'd like to confirm score, I don't do the score. <laughs> <laughs> so the 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 but anyway, you're also supposed to be the local fight. You're from Liverpool, will you tell me Manchester over the whatever? He's a gringo. Two girls, <laughs> Hey Tom, welcome to Liverpool as well, by the way. Man. And if you want to show you where the FOB, let's take it for a little more. Do you know what it is with you? You've got a hairband on with that friend. You just got a little red boys behind you, that's it. When you want to kick your ass, you won't even have no support then, will you? Of course you will! Of course you will! There you go, lad, hear from the horse's mouth yourself. What? Oh, hear it yourself, you can hear them. Who's here for you? I said one person. No one? I said one person. No one, mate. I said one person. Master, do you feel as though you're getting the respect you deserve for your wins? Um, I've, I've been support, yeah, of course, and that's all that matters to me. Um, it, to me, he's just a target, and he's just an obstacle in the way. And, you know, I have to fight whoever I have to fight to, to keep winning, to forge a career in boxing, and it's only going to be a short career, so uh, Tom's the target at the minute. Tom Talker, should we say? <laughs> so um, you know, I'm, I'm, well, he, he's not going to respect me, but he'll, he'll respect me at the end of the night because most do. And you it respect, always hey, seems to. Hey, listen, right? you respect me at the end of the night. I you respect you now. I, I respect you now. I, I, I'll be staying up square. I respect you now as a lad and as a boxer. To be honest, as a lad, a little bit of respect from the window because you, you've sound like an idiot in, in the trash talk that you've done. It doesn't oh, suit you. You stuff him like Stanley. It doesn't <laughs> suit you. Trust me, it doesn't. And then on the night, we'll, we'll have a fight and I'll still put my hand up to respect you. Yes. I've wanted this fight, so I've been calling you out to me. I know you have, mate. Yeah, you're like a splinter. So what's, what's wrong with you? You're like a piece of wood, like what's a splinter. I'm going to pull a splinter out and get rid of you. A little plaster on. Lift me wounds and walk, and walk away and move on to the next. You're going to do not me to get your head smashed. Well, that's that. Right. We'll see, won't we? Okay, we're going to pass over to uh, Howard Davis now. <laughs> <laughs>